a very simple method to see God. This is how you see God. Eckhart Von Holtz, C1260, in the Holy Empire of Roman Empire, died on C1328, again back in the Roman Empire, was a German Catholic theologian, philosopher, and mystic, born near Gotha in the Landgrave of Thuringia, now central Germany in the Holy Roman Empire. Eckhart said, the eye through which I see God is the same eye through which God sees me. My eye and God's eye are one eye, one seeing, one knowing in one love. It is very simple. People have forgotten the simple task of knowing themselves and they went around the world in 80 days. Forgetting the roots. Hence, my fight from the last 700 and 907, 82, 3 days of trying to connect you back into the family, to the joint family, the family tree where you have your Sanskriti. Recently I went to Rakum school in Devanahalli and I was shocked. The postgraduate students of Rakums have formulated a system to teach the Montessori children Sanskriti. The first four years to learn culture. Yes, can you believe? It? In that the language comes, mathematics comes, science comes, everything comes so beautiful. And I asked them from where did they get that? And they said they borrowed it from Japanese. Can you believe? The eye through which I see God is the same eye through which God sees me. Through which other lens can he see us? The eye through which I see God. If you have if we've been presented with a beautiful eye, and if you do not know the value of that eye, and if you don't maintain that eye, then you are in trouble. You are asking for trouble. You are sick. You are psychologically broken down. And with all these defects in you, you can be purchased very fast. You suddenly become a nobody with all the degrees, education, richness behind you. The eye through which I see God is the same eye through which God sees me. What else God can do? If you look at the bird, not to grab the bird, not to cage the bird, not to cut it up and eat it up, but you look at the beauty of the bird and you see what a creation what a musical dance it is. For a second the whole body stops, past, present, future stops. And in that past, present, future when it stops, you get an orgasmic experience of a new world opening. It keeps opening and opening to the vast horizon. That happiness is God. And when you look at the bird, the bird immediately know that you are not a naughty person to disturb. It will sing back to you. The eye through which I see God is the same eye through which God sees me. My eye and God's eye are one eye. There is no difference. The way you see, when you see a person with a borrowed knowledge, that is where the trouble comes when you look at the plant, look at the flowers, and you become the flower because the flower starts looking at you. You do not know whether you are the flower or the flower is you. Like Chuang Tzu said when I got up in the morning, all his disciples he kept telling, I have a problem and they asked what was the problem. In the night I had a dream and what has that got to do with such a big man? But the dream says I was a butterfly in my dream. Now in my vacant stage I'm thinking when the butterfly is thinking I am butterfly. Or I am really chunks. 
you are neither chonks or butterfly you are just a beauty god sees me my eye and god's eye are one eye husband and wife are one husband and father and mother together when they look at the child they all the three become one the eye is not different when you look you can feel the love and the passion when you have that which disease can enter into your body who can disturb you because three is a 3000 warrior multiplication only goes in the love not plus one seeing one knowing and one love in one so one seeing you first of all in the first of first time in your life you saw something you have eyes you were not been able to see anything and first time you saw your wife you saw the plant you saw the tree you saw the nature and it becomes one knowing their knowledge and your knowledge is one the vast ocean the vast rainfall the vast wind the vast earth is one knowing you and they become one and what is the power is it a thousand men war you and you melt into them and they melt into you it is called one love love can move oceans of problems love can move mountains of problems that's why they said love moves oceans and mountains